Good evening, everybody. Alec Boffinger here in Joliet. They have homecoming festivities going on this weekend. Olivia the top-ranked Jayhawks are hosting Park City. The Panthers are the reigning eight-man South Conference champions. And the Jayhawks are going to score in the opening minute of the game. Rye Brastrup takes the handoff and pounds his way in from 10 yards out. But Park City answers right back. Jacob Gochi to Ian Jordet in the back of the end zone to tie it up. Panthers got a stop and a chance to take the lead, but Hayden Ward blows this thing up in the backfield and Tucker Lynn jumps on the fumble for Joliet. And that sets up another Brastrup touchdown. He turns the corner, lowers his shoulder, and stretches for the pylon. Park City, though, again has an answer. Gochi buying some time and then whips it to Wyatt Hamilton for the score, and again we're tied up. Back and forth all night. Ward now back to pass and finds Paxton McQuillan, who hauls it in over the defense to put the Jayhawks back on top. And then Brostrup going to find Pater yet again. Around the left edge, stood up at the three, but he stretches across the plane for six more. But just before the break, Park City strikes with a big play. Gochi floats it to Hamilton, who takes off up the sideline 57 yards to give the Panthers a 28-26 lead at the half. The Panthers rode that momentum into the second half. Gochi going to roll to his right, looking to pass, but he tucks it and runs. He's then hitting the ball, pops loose, but Coleman falls on it to give Park City a touchdown and a 10-point lead. Joliet looking to cut into the deficit. Ward across the middle, but it's picked off by Holden Stepper, who returns it deep into Joliet territory. And that sets up another Hamilton touchdown, this time on the ground. Park City suddenly leads it 42-26, and the top-ranked Jayhawks are on the ropes. And then the knockout blow by Gochi. Park City hands Joliet its first loss of the season, 48-34. For MTN Sports, I'm Alec Boffinger.